Now, how about identifying characteristics? Any any marks, piercings? He may have had a tattoo. He may have had a tattoo? Did have a tattoo? Which one was it? I, I don't know. It, it, it all happened so fast. You know what? It's fine. I have a preliminary sketch here. Is this the man who assaulted you? Hello, everybody. I'm Rudolph. Welcome back to another Age of the Ring cast. We're back in Buckland. The best map. Keep saying words that begin with B, and you'll start to get annoyed, apparently. Uh, top to bottom. I have yet to meet the Mad Lad that will play this map left to right. I've done it a few times, and it felt weird. It was sort of like sticking your... Never mind. Okay. Uh, so we have Phobia. Oh, the Iranian guy. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know how so many Iranians got hold of uh, Tolkien. It it's really cool. Like, It's like, hey, the, the Islamic Revolution occurred, but we're going to keep the Lord of the Rings. Fucking A. Let's go. All right. And then we've got Bull, uh, the Aussie from Down Bozzy. That didn't make any sense, but fuck it, who cares? Versus Sylvia, so we have a Rohan mirror in the bottom right. And we have a Lorian, the world's tallest fortress. As Panix, the Montenegrin guy. I didn't hear about this game, they're just... Is it, possible, is it possible people don't wait for me to play? They just sort of go without me? Very strange. You can tell we're on ultra high, because look at that decor. Look at that. It's so beautiful. I love these golden leaves. The way they sort of just... Pat in the ground. It's so nice. It's so beautiful. Okay. Um, so... Rohan Mira. Rohan Mira. Uh, you know what? I say you forget. I say you forget about Yeoman. You go straight for Halifarian. If he goes Peasants, you laugh. If he goes Horseman of the Mark, you laugh again. If he goes Yeoman Spearman, you're still laughing. Because Halifarians will just decimate all of them. And then maybe you do like a battering ram rush. That's what I'm doing next, Rohan Mirror. That that's literally what I'm gonna be doing. Alright, I expect people to rush mid. We've got Lorian Archers here. I wonder if Panix is gonna do anything uh meme. -y. It would be kind of funny. I faced uh I didn't actually record it. I did face Phobia in a 2v2, and I was basically rushing Caliborn. It worked! And Caliborn's great to rush in a 2v2. You you have enough time to do it. Um, but Phobia was also Lorian, and he basically just masked Galathrim, and, uh, I didn't go with the Elite Cav. So basically, I rushed Caliborn and then just had to have him sit there while Phobia, uh, masked, um, uh, Galathrim. So, in short, Phobia knows what he's doing. Anyway, he's gone for Wildman, he's got, I don't think, I, I think the Malon Tree got deleted there. I don't think he actually built it. Um, but he's upgraded them with Torches, very risky against Lorian. Wildman, uh, obviously have low armor, and Lorien have good archers, so... It's a bit of a weird combo there. We've got Heroic Statue- No, he's not rushing Peasants right outside of his base. One Yeoman Archer. Peasants, Peasants, Peasants. They've got the Draft. Yikes! Okay, these are both churning out Peasants. They'll be buffed by the leadership if he goes with Draft, unless he's already used it. Yeah, they both used it. There goes the Arrow Volley from Lorien. They're not going to do anything. It's their heroic statue was there. If if it had hit um, just after the heroic statue had gone down, then they probably would have died. But this is hilarious. Literally, look at this. Three mills, like, right next to each other, spamming out peasants. I love it. Oh, this is good. This is the kind of game we want. All right, double Orion Archer. Yeah, he's spending money to give them torches. They don't get the, uh, the what's it called? The pillage until level two now. So he's actually not making any money back. Uh, Wildman is very risky. You really need, uh, volume. Uh, Axe Throwers are really good against Lauren. Axe Throwers are good against most things, so he's actually going for that now. And this is unfortunate. The, the Cave Troll has, uh, aggroed into, uh, Sylvius range. And even if you have Spears, the Cave Troll does, uh, inflict fear. So they just sort of, they're, they're just sort of stunned in terror, which is really cool. Alright, he's got the heal here. Um, people kept telling me that the heal doesn't proc in between arrow volleys. It fucking does. Look, they're healing in between volleys. It does. I don't know why people say it doesn't. People were saying it's like all these other things. Like, no, this is... It's literally how it works. It's fucking annoying. If they're not firing, they're technically not in combat. Okay, there's the Herc statue. I'm sorry. This is one of the dumbest things I've ever seen. But don't think that's a bad thing. When things stray from stupid to dumb, it usually means they're bad. But this is an exception. This is actually so funny. Literally, this farm right on the front line versus two. I don't even know. This is like the War of 1812. This is Canada, and this is the US, and I guess, uh, where is England? 
Who, who's committing a war crime? I don't know. This guy. We'll say he's English. But yeah, this is just hilarious. Somehow he's still holding. I think the Elman archers are bouncing out the extra farm. Uh, good, old, good job, Phobia. Creeping the cave troll there. Panix is sort of sitting back a bit. These axe throwers just chew through everything. Um, and I'm guessing Lauren archers don't have that good a range. I think Wildman actually gets stealth in trees as well, which is so strong for them. Um, if there was a unit that could, like, stealth dwarves, I would love it. Because I feel like dwarves need stealth in trees. They live underground, for fuck's sake. How, do they, how is that not a stealth? Anyway, the mixture of Yeoman and... Uh, the mixture of Yeoman and... Um, Peasants manages to win the day. He's got level 5 Yeoman Archers, so I think I was correct in saying that they were the difference. Horseman of the Mark, yeah, they weren't going to do anything. The Horn of um, the Westfold comes in to give him that armor, so yeah. That cab wasn't going to do anything anyway, but that just guaranteed it did nothing. Um, I don't even think left side needs to do anything. Early Galathrim from Panix. More Wildmen. I don't think the left side even needs to do anything. They've got the middle for that extra eco. He's done the Horn of the Westfold. He's taken down that early farm. Jesus Christ, peasants spam on Buckland. I feel like Phobia should be sending troops. I feel like he should be sending aid. I, I, like, this is a 2v2. You need to go help your teammate when they're um, in this sort of trouble. He didn't contest the inn either. He's just sort of letting Lorien have it. Maybe he's just inexperienced with this matchup because, yeah. I mean, that, that's a shame. But the walks would, would have been good at the beginning. And they seem to have taken down one farm. The second one should be coming down. He didn't go for Horn of the Westfall. He went for uh, the uh, Stone of the Whatever. Are we going to see Kamate Kamate? Um, which is the uh, defend the defender you can summon. He has done it, but if it went on the farm, it would have disappeared. Yep, there it is. He fucking did it on the farm that was about to go down, and he's bound to that farm, so he died when that died. Uh, the st uh, unit start is also really good, but the uh, defender was what he needed, and unfortunately got zero value out of it. All right, let's have a look. Also, the mark. Maybe they got one farm, or maybe he just didn't build a farm there. And look at this mess. Is he going to go for rams? I was joking when I said rushing battering rams. What the hell? Okay, we've got seven points for Silvius. Uh, hardly any points for Panix. He's basically just chilling. He's gone for one Galathrim, making another one. I think maybe he'll go for a hero. Maybe Rumil? And I think Phobia is finally stopping with the... Um, uh, the Wildman. I think, yeah, you'd have to go, like, triple Wildman Hut, and then maybe get- Well, actually, you either go double Wildman Hut, and then get Banner Carriers before, or you go triple Wildman Hut. Like, otherwise, the- the Archers will just mow you down. Or you just do, like, uh, one Walk Pit, one Wildman Hut. In fact, I think that's probably the best idea. If he had gone with one Warg, with all those Wildmen, then the Archers would have died immediately. And, um, yeah, I think that's the difference. I think that's what he should have done. But just going in Wildman without any pillage, yeah, it's, you were just pissing money down the drain. Alright, Sharku is up. He had enough money to get him. So these walks have leadership. So a decent recovery from Phobia. Um, but there's, uh, uh what are they called? Karen Amroth, that's it. Karen Amroth spears, so he needs to be careful not to wander into them. And here come the Halifarians. A bit too long for me to meme out of. The Halicherians. Maybe, maybe they'll have the cheerleaders of Rohan. Redouble stop. Alright, I'm stopping. Um, we'll keep it on Lorien just because I want to see what he's spending his money on. We elves will help fight against Sauron. There's a Morgul after him. He's gone with two level two barracks. And he's gone he's gone here to protect his melon tree. Very well done. Alright, Wolves are flanking. Karen Amroth being microed pretty well. All's quiet on the uh, eastern front there. And, oh, he's trying his best. Oh, no, Shaku goes in. Oh, no. That was unlucky. That was pathfinding. He'd gone there, and I think he'd ordered them back here, and he sort of turned, he, like, drifted around into the Karen off. That's GG. I think that's it, boys. You, you're you already behind the whole game. You, you invest the last of your money into heroes. Yeah, it's over. Man. Yeah, I, I would say well played from Panix, but... The, he literally ran the hero into his own pikes. He should be... So, decent micro, actually. De decent micro. And then Aowen comes in to buff the peasants if there are actually any left. Oh, actually, there's fucking loads left. There, there, there's only a couple of yam and the rest are peasants. Alright. Um, who's this guy again? Bull, that's right. Bull has responded with his own level 5 uh, yeoman. 
and he's uh he's got faithful stone back but he's pretty much trapped in his base and in a mirror um i guess i guess the uh, the if if you're behind it's sort of compounded because you're the same faction so you know you generate resources at the same rate and all that so he's in a he's in a world of hurt Fabia can't really send help he's got uruk scouts here and a little too bullish by panics you see how good those uh, axe throwers were? They actually got quite a few of those Galathrum. The Lauren Archers are sort of trapped here, but if these Wildmen go down, then the uh, way should be open. Tier 2 comes in. Aravoli goes into Radagast. I imagine that's what he'll do. Oh, aid from Bull! Very nice trample. This isn't over yet, boys. And a Blister Attachment. I really don't like Siege on Fortresses. The, the HP of the Siege is really weak. So, a decent trample. Um, there's a... Aeoman is leading- Aeoman. Aeowyn is leading the line. The barracks go down. There's a battering ram hidden there. He's gonna need some actual melee infantry to deal with that battering ram. Uh, the defenders come out. And uh, Aeowyn fighting Mary. That's not something you see every day. This is just clump central. Go direct and hope for the best. I want to try this myself, but I don't think- I feel like I would just lose this whole army. I'd just get mowed down, you know? Alright, there's a very great wizard. Do not speak to me of Radagast the Brown. I love that whole, like, monologue by Saruman. <laughs> uh, signature look of superiority. It is excessive consumption of mushrooms. I do like that. Uh, I like how bitter Saruman is. Like, uh, he, he scolds Gandalf for uh, smoking pipe weed, and yet Merry and Pippin find gratuitous amounts of pipe weed uh, uh, in uh, Orthanc. I thought that was just... Quintessentially Saruman there. It's not just treachery, it's, uh... Oh, no. Oh! Okay, who had the Halifirian flies over the barracks for 700? You win. Ding, ding, ding. I think that's game over. And while it was short and one-sided... Wait, actually, Bull's fighting back with the Gondorian summon. Halifirian should be able to just chew through these, despite them being heavily armored. There's one, two, three, four Halifirians. Yeah, I, I, this was pretty one-sided. No, Aowen, you can survive. You're giving them XP and armor. She has, uh, readiness. Yeah, I, mm, it's a shame. <laughs> She's not actually that good until, like, level 5, unfortunately, but oh well. Aomer's here. Desperate charge. That's for Faramir, but let's see what Aomer can do. The left side. And, yeah, it's just racking up points. Look at all these. They're on the heroic statue. I don't even know what they do. I think he's gonna have to, like, bring out the Dunlending Cav. He's gonna have to make Wolfgar and just go for it. Anyway, the stone comes out. That's all the enemy, by the way. Oh, wait, no, maybe it's not all the enemy. No, it is. Okay. It's come from Lugburz. Um, that's Phobia helping out his teammate, but too little, too late. The Arrow Volley actually insta-kills those orcs. It's basically just Grishnak left, who's getting owned by Radagast, who is still alive. They did reduce the uh, duration of summons across the board, but... Seems Radagast is actually a pretty decent one. He heals constantly. And uh, we know about his uh, excellent wizard blast as well. Wait, these... This, are these bulls? No, they're Sylvius. This is literally all enemies. I was right. There's the... Uh, the uh, Huon defender. And now bull is doing the Kami strat where I will s somehow get money for heroes at the very end and just charge them out. All right, Lorien with Orofin leading the line. Level five archers, level five spearmen. Urk scouts. It costs too much money to get these guys up. That's why I was thinking maybe just save up for Wolfgar and then you can build the uh, Dunlending Longhouse. The extra damage and armor on the uh, Dunlendings might actually work here. But these Galathrum have heavy armor now. This is basically over, but what I want to say is like, it was still really cool because he did the forward farm. Look how forward this fucking farm is. I mean, it's, 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 the audacity is insane. Like, you audacious little bastard. That's all we're gonna say. Elven Wood, he's gone for the extra tier two. Very nice. I would put it right here. You're not gonna retreat. You just hit the uh, ballista and it's gone. Uh, Panic's like biding his time very well. And there's an XD. Is that a uh, Rumel? No, it's Haldir. Very nice. I always felt like, I think I might have mentioned this a while ago, but like in Lorien, when you first, uh, I think when like it's dawn in Lorien, like right after they, um, oh, there goes the Fortress Jejuji. Like once they apprehend the, um, 
once they're taking the uh, fellowship into Kalos Galathon. He seems so pale. I think they got the makeup all wrong and held it there. Am I the only think so? That was it. Anyway, um, that was a really short 2v2, but I thought that was actually really entertaining. Uh, we got to see Sharku skewered because, uh, hey, justice comes to those who wait. And uh, yeah, just the forward, um, the, the forward peasant spam was just hilarious to see. Uh, I feel like Phobia sort of got his approach wrong, but I mean, um, you learn a lot from your losses. So hopefully he learned to uh, uh, mix uh, Wildman with his wargs in his attacks. And I don't know. I don't think uh, the other Rohan, or I don't think Bull, you know, did anything wrong. It was just, you know, I think the uh, Yeoman Archers really uh, helped out Sylvius. Anyway, hope you guys all enjoyed. There'll be more Biff Me content coming as well. And I will be getting my early access to Warhammer 3 um, at the start of next month. So you can be look forward to that. And when the uh, ranked season finally drops for Age of Empires 4, there'll be uh, content of that coming as well. So lots in the offing uh, next month. So look forward to that. Anyway, be sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you all next time. Peace out. Goodbye.